So in the past, you guys, over the years, you've seen me uh, decoy deer. That's what I'm talking about today. Okay, for just a standard setup, you guys, right before the rut, uh, at the end of the rut, and I'll tell you one time of the year is, once all the mature does are bred and then the yearling does come back in heat, which is always usually two to three weeks after the regular rut. I mean, in some places, bucks are still bumping does right now, and we're uh, in early January. So that Tink 69 uh, in a timber scrape and a scrape on the edge of the field works good. I don't got time for all that. What I got time for is putting out a decoy because it's an in, it's a way it's an enjoyable way to hunt, and I like to hunt out of ground blind, so I set a decoy on a ground blind, and I can tell you what to do. That's it. This is the trophy buck. So, dominant buck urine, spray that on the back of the decoy, and uh, don't let the deer get too close to the decoy. And the great thing about it is, is I can spray it from here to there. So, I'm not getting my feet anywhere around that decoy. Because a lot of times, you face the decoy into the wind, the buck's gonna come around behind the decoy. Very seldom do they come straight on, head on. They wanna smell that deer first. And you don't want them to smell your feet. So you, you just hit it on the back legs anywhere, even on the ground, right behind the back legs. And uh, remember, don't ever let a buck get too close to a decoy because this pisses him off and he's gonna think, fight. And I ain't never smelled that buck before in my area. So you better shoot him before he gets to the decoy. This right here has been a game changer for me decoying deer.